Right, we've checked out some of his four string instruments before, but now it's time to see what Vincent van Trite can do with six. <laughs> Happy Straturday folks, it's Jack here from Peach Guitars and today I'm actually quite excited to be able to finally show you a six string from one of our favourite master builders, one of the newest master builders at Fender's Custom Shop who we had the great pleasure of meeting at the last NAMM show in 2020, Vincent Van Trite. So we've seen a couple of his bass guitars in the past, that is really from what I can gather his main love. He is a bass player himself but I was very curious to see what he'd be doing with six strings because when we spoke to him he was very keen to suggest that his style of guitar creation is really to kind of adhere, at least aesthetically, to the classics. He doesn't really like to deviate too much from what those original 50s and 60s Fender guitars would actually look like. However, under the surface, he's not afraid to implement a few upgrades. And that's kind of, that's what I personally like to see out of Fender Custom Shop guitars. I think it's what a lot of us do, really. You know, we love the classic looks, but we like them to be a little bit more playable, a little bit more appropriate for our modern requirements. And that's exactly what he said he was going to do. I was going to see in this in this first guitar that we've seen from him whether that is what he decided to do. So what we've got here is a 50s Strat Heavy Relic. Now I know what you're going to say and if you're not a Relic fan just turn away from the video now. But the Heavy Relic is a pretty bold place to start for a first guitar from a master builder that we've seen. However, I think he's actually pulled it off. He hasn't really gone for the traditional, like, uh, or not traditional, but what we tend to see a lot of is the finish over finish with Heavy Relics. This is just a three-tone sunburst, absolutely beat to hell. And I actually quite like it. I'm not really usually a Heavy Relic kind of person, but I do think he's done a very, very interesting job here of bringing out the best of the bodywood, which is uh, ash on this guitar, which again makes a nice change. So it's obviously just going for a fairly traditional 50 style uh, Fender Strat with the ash body, but then conversely we're seeing a roasted maple neck, and it's a 3A, so it's quite heavily flamed roasted maple neck and fingerboard. And all I can say about this neck is it is extremely comfortable. It's superbly rolled, the fret edges are really smooth, big jumbo frets here and it's got a 12 inch radius as well I believe so this is where we see this marriage once again of the traditional aesthetic with the hot rodded upgraded spec particularly on the neck to um, to counter that we've got traditional hand wound 50s uh, custom shop pickups which are Josefina hand wound pickups in this guitar so it's got a nice balance of all things 50s strat it's bold it's punchy um, it's really, really a loud guitar as well, dynamically. It doesn't really, it doesn't have that sort of super mellow 60s uh, Strat voicing that a lot of players do like, but I like when a Strat has some punch and some life to it, and this one definitely does. 
So it's interesting, you know, I don't, I know I'm just talking about one particular guitar, but I do think this is representative of the man himself. And I'm very excited, like I said, to finally delve into his guitars. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of them in the future. Now, it's fair to say that Mr. Dale Wilson has had enormous coverage on the Peach Guitars channel. We love him. A lot of the customers love him. He's in very high demand, though. So I do see the case for potentially ordering a Vincent guitar if you want the similar kind of vibe because it's all about the vintage Strat and vintage Tele vibe, once again, just with those subtle under the hood kind of tweaks. That's what I like, that's what I think a lot of people like. So tonally at the start there, you'll have heard, it is a really punchy sounding guitar, it's very big, it's very, very lively, and um, you know, kind of, if you're playing with a cleaner tone, you really hear a lot of the character of the wood. And I like the fact that this has got super, super thin nitro finish, obviously with the heavy aging, feels really comfortable physically to play this guitar because it just feels like it melds with you but it adds something to the tone as well it's got this very open top end and what I love about most master builders guitars but particularly Vincent has managed to capture it here is that kind of open blooming quality and I'm going to try and demonstrate that with a bit more playing with a cleaner sound let me see if I can get this across to you on some of the in-between positions just listen how open this guitar sounds <laughs> So even though it can do the kind of delicate in-between position sounds that a good Strat should be able to do, it's just got this extra life bubbling away to it and it's very three-dimensional. It's very hard to put into words, obviously, but it's what all the best custom shop master-built guitars I've played, they all do it. So I'm very pleased that he's captured this magic himself as well. Let me put on a bit more gain. I'm using King Tone Duelist, as usual, uh, into a Mesa Fillmore 25, by the way. Kind of cranked everything up a little bit, hyped it all up a little bit so you can hear just a little bit more of what this guitar's putting out. But let me put the Duelist on and you'll hear, again, this punchiness and this, this extra life that this guitar's got. <laughs>
I think this guitar pretty much speaks for itself. It's a great indication of hopefully more things to come from Vincent Vadtry. It's very, very exciting to have another master builder to explore the options of. Uh, and I do, I do really like his general vibe with the guitar. It's interesting that he is predominantly a bass player himself and that's kind of the instrument that he veers towards. I wonder how that kind of um, impacts his guitar designs, his six string designs as well. That's something I'd be curious to know, but whatever he's doing, I think it's working very, very well. It's just a really lively sounding classic Fender, which most custom shops are of course, but when it's a master built guitar and you get the personality of the specific builder come through, it's very important and that's really the determining factor in the kind of character that the guitar is going to have. Whether or not you pick a, a certain year spec or whatever, you know, you could order a 50s Strat from any of the master builders and you're going to get a very, very different iteration every time. With Vincent Van Trite, I think what you're getting is pretty close to a lot of the hearts, certainly of the people who tend to view our videos, as, long as, as well as myself. It's very much up my street. So I think that's about all I've got to say about this, but very excited finally to have some of Vincent Van Trite's six strings options in store, as well as his basses, of course. And if you want to find out any more information about this particular stunning example, all the basses that I've mentioned as well, you can check out the website. Click the link in the descriptions below to do so. Hopefully there's more on the way, like I say. But hopefully this serves as a very, very good example of a great strat for this week's strat today. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'm going to play you out. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>